Trina, you have nothing to worry about. Esme is not a threat to us. I don't think she's actively trying to drive us apart, but I think nothing would make her happier than having you all to herself. I would never let that happen. But she already knows that you're committed to Ace. And I think she loves the fact that you're a father figure to him. Yes, and I don't see anything wrong with me filling that role for my brother. That's I... just it. That is just it. He is your brother, not your son. He's not your responsibility. Your father needs to be taking care of him. No matter what you think of Nicholas, he did a good job with you. He raised the man that I fell in love with, so he can't be all bad. Okay, so what would you suggest, Trina, that I just have no active role in Ace's life, or...? No. <laughs> I'm not suggesting that you abandon him. But I need you to start thinking about your future. Our future. Yours and mine. Where's this coming from? We're in a different point in our relationship than when Ace was born. We're more serious now. And I think it's time we talk about what lies ahead for us. So you, you want to know about my future? Yeah. I do. I mean, where do you see yourself in five years? <laughs> well, thank you for seeing me today, Miss Robinson. I, my future, I, I don't know. Uh, Having fun, spending time with my friends and family, being with the love of my life, you, Miss Robinson? Spencer, don't do that. I'm being serious. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I really wanna know. Like, I really wanna know. Like, what, what do you want out of life? What are your dreams? What makes you happy? You? You make me happy. And my brother, my ace makes me happy. Trina, I love you. But my my brother's always gonna be a part of my life. And I get that. I would never ask you to walk away from him but it seems like you want to be more than just his brother. No, I'm well aware that he's not my son, but it doesn't mean that I can't be there for him and I want to make sure that he feels loved and safe. You and Esme already give him a safe and stable home. Yeah, and I'm gonna make sure that he stays there and that he's never shipped off to a boarding school like I was because I don't think that my father ever realized how difficult that was for me. It was very isolating and lonely. Well, unfortunately, Loneliness is a part of life, for some more than others. Well, it's not going to be a part of Aces. Not as long as I have something to say about it. And what about his mother? Does her say matter? I don't see Ace and Esme living with you and Laura forever. Yeah. Well, we haven't discussed it yet, but Esme knows that she can stay there for as long as she likes. She has everything that she needs there. You know, as Ace gets older, Esme will make decisions that will affect his future. Where he lives, who he sees will be her choice, not yours. Well, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, but I don't see anything changing for a while. Well, this idyllic situation it can't last forever. And eventually, Esme and Ace, they'll be on their own. And there's nothing you can do about it. 